Is auto exposure bracketing the same as HDR? AEB is auto exposure bracketing, an image capture technique in which more than one photo is taken of the same thing using different exposures. HDR is high dynamic range. High dynamic range is the range of tones in an image. So, whilst the two are not the same, you can use AEB to create HDR images. However, you can also create HDR images in a single image capture using software without AEB. Confused? Don't worry, I'll explain it. They're not the same, but they're related. Okay, let's get some terms sorted first. What is dynamic range in photography? Dynamic range is very simply the range of tones from light to dark. Dynamic range can be measured in stops. So to put this in context, the average human eye can see a dynamic range of about 18 to 20 stops. OK, so that's what we can see walking around in the region of 18 to 20 stops. Now, I'm saying in the region of because it depends, doesn't it, on if it's dark, you, just, you can't see 20 stops of light because there won't be. So my Canon 6D, it can capture in a single image a dynamic range of somewhere between 8 and 12 stops. I say somewhere because it depends on the quality and, of course, on the light that I'm capturing. Now, if I go with the highest quality, it's probably going to be somewhere near eight stops. Dynamic range is a range of light, and this is the point. I can see more than double with my eyes what my Canon 6D can capture in a single image. The numbers are subject to so many variables, they're not critical. The point is, the principles apply. We see more than we can capture with a single image. That's the point. We can see more with our eyes than we can capture in a single image. That's the point, OK? OK, so that's the problem. The range of lots a human eye can see is quite frankly remarkable. But the range we can capture with a camera, not as remarkable. See, humans are still better than machines. <laughs> OK, AEB, auto exposure bracketing. What is it? It's an image capture technique. When you press the shutter button, more than one photo is taken at the same time. That's the automatic bit. So you've got three images, the same thing with three different exposures. Now, I generally use plus two stops and minus two stops. So I do correct exposure, then I overexpose by two stops and underexpose by two stops, and I merge the photos together later. That is auto exposure bracketing. And it's HDR as well, isn't it? Because HDR is a high dynamic range. If my Canon 6D is taking an image with an eight stop range of tones, if I do another two stops at either end, I've got 12 stops, haven't I? In theory, I've got 12 stops, yeah? It's not that precise, but that's not the point. It's a high dynamic range. It's actually extended dynamic range is a better term, but they end up being one and the same thing, don't they? So... AEB is not the same as HDR, but they get you to the same endpoint. So the point is this, it doesn't matter. HDR and AEB, we're getting more dynamic range taking a photo than not using either technique. That's, that's the important bit. And the reason we're doing this is to try and capture more of the light that we can see with our eyes. Right, that sums it up nicely. Quite happy with that. So I'm a Canon 6D. Using auto exposure bracketing, I can take three different photos with different exposures. And I can change that in third stop increments. So I could do it a third of a stop, two thirds, one stop, one and a third, one and two thirds, two stops, three. Going up to about five stops, I think, the adjustment. I use plus and minus two stops. That works for me for what I'm doing most of the time. So the first photo is the correct exposure. The second photo is underexposed by two stops. And the third photo is overexposed by two stops. That is the sequencing on a Canon 6D. Now, sometimes I might want to change that. I can do this manually. In manual mode, I can do the correct exposure or whatever I want the exposure to be. And then I could take another photo manually with a different exposure and a third photo with a different exposure. And it could be plus two, minus four. It just depends. Or I could do, a, I've done, before, <laughs> before I've done a range of photographs from plus 
six stops to minus six stops. And I've thrown them all together and it, it was an interesting experience, shall I say. So you can do it manually. You can do it manually and it's fine. I use AV mode, so the aperture stay in the same, but the shutter speed changes to adjust the exposure. But if you're going to do this manually, your camera has to be on a tripod. If you're taking these photos handheld, if you think about it, you've got three photos being taken at different times. So you need to be really, really still and make sure they're aligned later. In Lightroom, when you merge the photos together, it does that aligning for you. But for best results, camera on a tripod, always. Yeah, I take most of my photos from a camera on a tripod. You can do AEB in camera and that's called in camera hdr and this is where it gets murky so in camera hdr is auto exposure bracketing being done by the camera and it gives you one image well it can give you one image or it can give you the different images so they become one and the same thing don't they okay i don't want to labor the point here they're not the same but they are the same to sum up auto exposure bracketing is capturing the same image at different exposures. HDR, by definition, is just high dynamic range. It's a range of lights and darks. They end up being the same. They end up being called the same. And HDR is viewed as a bad thing still. Because back in, well, 20, 20 years ago, 10, 20 years ago, HDR was a thing. And you used to get all these horribly over-processed, grungy photos. And that... That stigma from back then, it still applies now. There are still people who think HDR is a bad thing. HDR is not a bad thing. If you do auto exposure bracketing and merge the photos together, all you're doing is capturing more light. Photography is drawing with light. How can capturing more light that we can see with our eyes, how can that be a bad thing? I'm going to stop there on a very good high ranty point and say, Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment, get in touch. Love it to hear from you. And check out my YouTube channel where there are lots more videos. There's lots more stuff. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. Cheers from me, Rick.